Microsoft has a new project that could potentially challenge Devin. Devin is this viral video, a demo, a tool that can be AI software engineer. And Microsoft here is building a new technique and a tool, a framework that can automate AI driven development. It is not exactly same like Devin yet, but this is going in that direction. In this video, we're going to quickly go through this new paper that Microsoft released about auto dev. It is coming from a bunch of researchers or engineers from Microsoft. And what this auto dev is simply, it is leveraging GPT-4 along with the IDE, Integrated Development Environment, to do certain tasks that GPT-4 alone cannot do effectively. Like for example, building, testing, executing code or Git operations. And this is primarily coming because GPT-4 or any chat based interface cannot work coherently together. So you need something that can work together and auto dev is what Microsoft is launching to fill this gap. Auto dev is not going to be a tool yet. It is just a paper, but I guess probably this might end up coming into a visual studio code or GitHub copilot. So what is auto dev? Auto dev is a fully automated AI driven software development framework. It is designed for autonomous planning and execution of software engineering tasks. Auto dev enables users to define complex software engineering objectives, which are then assigned to auto devs, autonomous AI agents to achieve. How does it happen? The user comes up with a request or an objective, and then that goes inside auto dev and auto dev is powered by OpenAI GPT-4. That is the agent and that agent makes sure everything is done. And then it comes back to the user with the success metric. So for example, user can say, test this method and then it goes and edits the file with that particular test case, then runs the test case and then figures out if there is any test case or error is missing. If everything is fine, it will go on. If it is not, then it will go to another environment, get the D results or whatever that it has to do and then comes back and then fixes it and then runs it and then gives you a success and at this point, Autogen has successfully executed whatever it is doing. One important thing about auto dev, which people did not question about Devin is that how safe this is. I mean, if you give access to the computer and uh, if you want to do it and if computer or AI has access to the complete system, how bad it could be. I'm not sure how many of you remember Anton, son of Anton from the series Silicon Valley, but it is a very funny episode if you want to see like the rats and all the other things. So giving complete access to AI in a completely open development environment is always not the best decision to do. I'm not scaring you. I'm not talking about AGI. I'm not talking about Skynet, but it is not the wisest thing to do. So what Autodev is promising, it's promising a secure development environment. What is that? It is here. So as you can see here, the execution happens here which is a very secure Docker environment. So anything that happens is happens within the Docker image doesn't go beyond that. Let's quickly look at auto dev workflow. So the user comes up with a question and based on like user defines the rules and actions and an objective that goes to a system called conversation manager and the conversation manager takes that system. If requires users, other agents as well, or if does not require, then it takes that and it sends it to the parser and the parser sends it to the tools library. The parser has access to a bunch of tools like file editing, retrieval, build and execution, testing, git, and everything that happens in build and execution goes to the secure evaluation environment where it has got access to the repository, where it has got access to what it has to do. And then once everything is done and successfully comes back, it comes back from the tools library to the output organizer and the output organizer then sends this message back to the conversation manager and then it sends it back to the user or any other tool that is there. So this is the full life cycle of auto dev. It's very impressive to be honest. The only thing I think it is missing when you compare it with Devin is it does not have a browser which Devin uses effectively at least from the demos. It typically has got everything else that Devin has got. It has got uh, like an execution system. It has got Git 
and it has got everything. So how effective is auto dev? That is a question obviously we need to ask and they did testing based on two metrics. One is code generation, like generating new code. The second one is test generation because you need to generate test cases, which is something that AI can take over from human beings because we are pretty bad at generating test cases. If you are a software engineer, what was the, when was the last time you generated a test case without somebody had to tell you that you have to do it? I mean, I'm pretty bad at it. I'm not sure how about you. So AI can definitely take this over from human beings. So now how is auto dev performing in the code generation? They used human evil benchmark for that. And as you can see, they used a, they are comparing with a couple of methods rather than comparing it with GPT-4 and the vanilla form, which itself is a good thing. So the zero shot GPT-4 scored 67.0 and reflection, which is a self-reflecting algorithm has got GPT-4 backend and scored 91.0. And this requires extra training and same goes for language agent tree search, but without any extra training, auto dev scores 91.5, which is pretty impressive. The other one is the test generation and auto gen, auto gen, sorry, auto dev scores pass one 87.8 and the test coverage is 99.3 and the overall coverage is 88.8 human is 99.4. I mean, this human must be like pretty, really like very good software engineer. I'm not like, not like a human like me uh, with not a bad, not a good coverage, but you can see the human has made 99.4 percentage coverage. This is typically how you would measure a test code coverage. I know if you view circle CI and all the tools, it would see how much your test cases cover the entire code. And the human is 99.4 auto dev is 88.8, which is super impressive and there is another evaluation that microsoft shows that how autogen uses existing tools for a code generation for example you can see for code generation auto dev executed on an average 5.5 commands you can see the commands here like grip find cat talk and all the other things it has totally 1.8 operations write operations 1.7 test operations 0.92 stop operations, which indicates the task completion. 0.25 incorrect commands, incorrect commands, along with some retrieval, like it looks at the code, it finds something, it does syntax checks, and then it finally com communicates the command back to the user, which is coming to the conversation manager. I think overall it is super impressive. If you want to see a quick example, uh, the user objective is okay, write a pi test with the PyTest test with four to five assertions that covers the following function. So this is a function you're asking auto dev to write the test for this auto dev takes the file, reads the file, updates the file, tests it. And then one is passed, one is total, one is collected and the test suit is completely passed. And at this point, auto dev completely stops. And you can see more examples like this, how auto dev ultimately does the task that the human wanted it to do. And uh, Microsoft says that this is just the start. Ideally, what they want to do is they wanted it to integrate within IDE. Like, of course, they own an IDE Visual Studio Code. So creating a chatbot experience and incorporating it into CI CD pipelines, PR pull request review platforms, which ideally could be GitHub. So this could be a paid feature coming into GitHub so that Microsoft has got some edge over GitLab and Bitbucket and all the other systems. We envision developers assigning tasks and issues to auto dev, reviewing results within a PR system. I'm surprised that they have not used the SWE software engineer benchmark that was released by Devin, which ultimately Devin scores the highest at this point, but it would be pretty interesting to see how auto dev scores. But despite that also that uh, it seems that the developers are happy with this, and it seems that Microsoft is going to ultimately build a fully automated AI software engineer. Are you happy about it? See you in the next video. Happy prompting.